Leon Loco here, doing another walk around. This time, as you can probably guess, it's on my KTM Super Duke. I've really not had this bike for very long. I've only actually put a couple hundred miles on it since I bought it. Reason for that being is, I bought it in November, <laughs> which incidentally, if you're uh, looking to pick up a bike and you're looking for a deal on it and you live in an area where you get snow and really horrible weather for a couple months of the year, buy it just before that, because you're gonna get a much better deal than you otherwise might. And that was the case with this bike. Uh, I got an offer, well, I put an offer in at a, de a dealer who had one, uh, and they were motivated to get rid of it, so I made them an offer and I took it. And I actually didn't expect they'd take it, but they did. Sometimes that's just how it works out, and you gotta be kind of in a position to uh, take advantage of that. This bike has set off uh, well, a little a little power race with many of the uh, Japanese and, and uh, Italian manufacturers now in building, you know, a naked bike with this kind of power and this kind of sort of aggressiveness, I guess you could say. And a lot of them have. You've got the new uh, Yamahas that are, yeah, Yamahas that have just come out and Ducati is kind of upping their game with some of their naked bikes. And uh, that is due in no small part to this thing. So even though this bike barely has delivery miles on it, I've already done a number of mods to it. Uh, first and foremost, I got rid of the really ugly mirrors. Uh, if you watched my first ride video on this bike, you'll know I was kind of kind of skeptical of the mirrors. They worked very well, but they, I just didn't like them. So I went with a little tiny bar and mirror here, which for me works. I mean, yeah, if I was riding this thing every day, if I was commuting, I'd probably at least want another one on the on the throttle grip, if not, you know, a more substantial mirror. But for the kind of riding I do, it's fine, and uh, it folds in, so I can, you know, lane split without banging it off of things. Uh, I've also done the exhaust a bit. The horrible cat is gone. Just a straight pipe now. I went with the stock muffler, as I think it sounds fine. It looks fine. It suits the bike. And honestly, I can't quite bring myself to drop a thousand bucks or whatever on, on a titanium can for it. It's like, you know, it doesn't need it. Uh, this muffler, you know, I've had it off. It's a, it's a straight through uh, design. It doesn't really rob any power. It sounds fine. It's also not obnoxiously loud, even though it is fairly loud with the cat gone. It's, uh, it's not idiotic. I mean, you can ride it with, without being deaf in like 12 minutes. So that's nice. Uh, what else have I done? I've done a LED headlight on it. Just a bulb, but you can probably see it in there. A little LED light. That required some tweaks to make the dash shut up about having a burnt out bulb, but if you're doing that on your own Super Duke, you can find, uh, you can find no small amount of information on doing that. Basically, you just need two little resistors uh, on the signal pass so the computer shuts up and it's happy. Uh, other than that, I, what else have I done? Not a hell of a lot, honestly. Uh, there's not a, there's not a lot to do to this bike. It's so good, you know, out of the box in many ways. You know, I love the suspension. I've tweaked the I've tweaked the rebound a little bit on the uh, on the shock, but you know, it, it was very close to where I wanted it to be. It is, you know, just one of a few little tweaks here and there. But other than that, I've just been riding it and enjoying it because it's a great bike. So what can I really say about the Super Duke uh, that you haven't already heard from a zillion people? Probably not a lot. Uh, most of what most people who have been re reviewing this bike have said about it uh, are right on the money. It is really easy to ride. It's comically fast. Um, it's a bit more tame than KTM would have you believe. You know, when this bike first started getting teased to people and and not many people had bought one yet, um, you know, everyone was saying it's a Widowmaker, it's, you know, it'll immediately kill you, and that isn't the case. You know, it's really easy to ride, frankly, uh, as long as you have some self-control. 
and you can respect the loud handle. And if you can't, yeah, you'll probably kill yourself on this thing. If you can, probably not. So one thing I will say is this bike is rapidly becoming my kind of go-to bike. It's becoming one of my favorites uh, very quickly. Um, it's not, you know, anywhere near as good as a sport bike when it comes to hitting the twisties, but it is still very good at that. So it's 90% as good as, say, a Ponegali, um, while still being comfortable and easy to deal with in traffic, and it's just much more forgiving than many other bikes, certainly any other bike I've ever ridden that is anywhere near as fast as this thing is. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a great bike. If you're thinking about buying one, I certainly would, especially if you can find one that's like uh, a leftover from last year or something like that, get a nice deal on it. I mean, the new one that's coming out, they changed out the headlight, you know, they, they made it a factory LED headlight, they gave it a color LCD dash and some other generic crap, and actually even a more horrible exhaust to uh, make it compliant for the new Euro emissions. Um, so I wouldn't bother, you know, spending an extra three or four thousand bucks on a brand new 2017 one with the facelift uh, because it's just, you know, it's it, this this bike is as fast, currently probably faster because it's got the exhaust on it. It looks wonderful. Uh, it rides great. I mean, I have no complaints about anything it does on the street or in the twisties. I haven't tracked it yet, but we'll, uh, we'll see about doing that this year at some point. Really, one thing I love about this bike is that. The little oil sight glass that you can actually see at a glance whenever. Um, it's low right now because I just uh, had it running. Uh, but this is wonderful. It's not hidden. It's not a stupid dipstick. It just, you want to see how much oil's in the bike? You can see how much oil's in the bike. That is just astoundingly good engineering there. Love that. Uh, I do actually like the rear sets quite a bit. Uh, you know, they're a little, they have these uh, rubber thingies in the front, which uh, I'm not thrilled with. I mean, most sort of not sport bikes these days have something similar to that, and that's fine. It's just not really not my preference. I think it's kind of silly to have a uh, big cushy knob on, on the actual uh, lever and then have a, like a, a grippy uh, peg. So, whatever. I mean, I don't think I, I will bother changing it but I'm not entirely certain why they did that. And this is the reason you buy this bike, this idiotically huge V-twin, chucking out over 180 horsepower. It is a thing. I love the single-sided swing arm, you know, very Ducati-esque, very sexy. I'm really glad they did that. It makes the bike uh, styling-wise for me. I love the colors, the uh, orange and the white. They set each other apart really nicely from a lot of other stuff that's out there. And I love the brakes. These big Hork and Brembos, you know, they shut it down when you need it to. And they don't drag, they don't squeak, they don't chatter. They're just excellent brakes. But yeah, that is the KTM Super Duke walk around. Uh, apparently a lot of you like these videos uh, of a more kind of close up view of the bikes. Uh, if you'd like to see another one, uh, please let me know in the comments, uh, send me a message, whatever, and I'm happy to do them. Until next time, Leon Loco, signing off. Hey, did you like this video? Well, hit the like button, leave me a comment if you want to, and if you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel.